So Fernando, what do you make of Caroline and her imperial friends then? Well, it's flexible, very flexible and that means it can be anything. I'm not sure it works out a period. The foot are solid, however the mounted are a bit hit and miss. Right, so let's start with those horse. Light Lancers, what is that all about then? And how do you combine them with riders? Is that possible? I think the horse are really supporting the foot here and picking off targets of opportunity when they arise. Unless you are deep in period and can use the Burgundian general dams but even then you are just as good as anyone else, no better. What about the foot then? Elite tier CO. Oh yes oh yes but they do not come cheap, and frankly superior infantry are also pretty good. The colonels are a funny option too which I doubt we will ever see anyone use in a competition, but even so, like many of these early armies, you are looking at tier CO's and keels to try and dent any Swiss you might meet. So, the foot are the same as most others? Doesn't that mean the horse are actually the unique thing in this army? No, the good quality tier CO's are the unique selling point. Everything supports them in normal games, but if you go horse heavy in the list you have the ability to take on eastern cavalry armies. Either way you could end up with a lot of points spent on a part of the army you will rarely be able to use. So how does it work then foot or horse? I'd be tempted to pick one arm of service and then go full throttle with that. Then you actually get a very decent almost all mounted army, or a very decent almost all foot army. The bare minimum is just one later tertio and one keel, so you can do either. Okay, I understand. A fabulous analysis. I hope that this has been useful, and tune in again soon for more in-depth army analysis from me Philp and him, Fernando.